Hey guys, welcome back to The Buzz. I'm Tierra Bree, and today I'm sitting with John Edenfield of Great Strides Rehabilitation. How are you doing, John? I'm doing well, thank you. Good, thank you for joining us today. Glad to be here. So I just want to talk a little bit about what Great Strides is. What is that company? Great Strides Rehabilitation is a comprehensive pediatric rehabilitation center. We serve children from um, birth to 21 years of age, and we offer a lot of different services under one roof. Okay, and then you work with kids primarily or only? Um, only, right. Okay. So from birth to 21, and um, we serve children of varying um, diagnoses, ages. Um, examples of some of the children that we might uh, serve include cerebral palsy, Down syndrome. We have a large population of children with autism that we serve, mm -hmm. and we, uh, we have a lot of different services um, to benefit uh, those, those kids whatever they need, basically. Okay, so helping them, you know, kind of adjust and achieve their dreams. You got it, exactly. Definitely. And how did you think of this company? What started it? Well, it started in 2004. Um, I'm an occupational therapist by trade, and I noticed that a lot of parents had to drive to many different places to get services for their children. So my dream was to have an interdisciplinary clinic, meaning that we could have multiple services that coordinated care to give the best care possible um, to the children we serve. So I set out and uh, we started hiring folks and long story short, uh, it's been uh, t about 10 years, but we went from one person to, we have close to 70 therapists now. And we have um, disciplines that include occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, applied behavior analysis, psychological services, mm -hmm. music therapy, animal assisted therapy. <laughs> we can talk about her. Yes. Um, we also serve, um, uh, we serve places in the community that include medically fragile daycares. So these are children that have uh, come out of the neonatal intensive care unit and require special care. Mm -hmm. But our therapists can uh, provide rehabilitation for those children while they're in this specialized daycare. Mm -hmm. We also provide um, therapy to many private schools uh, around the Jacksonville and surrounding area. Um, so Christian schools, um, that may not have therapists um, in them like the public school system, our mm -hmm. company can provide therapy there. That is amazing. It's awesome that you work with so many different, you know, organizations as well. That's we always right. want those part partnerships in Jacksonville. That's right. And, you know, um, I think that's really important. One of the things that we do a lot is to work with children with developmental disabilities. And it's our job to try to get them to be as independent as possible and mm -hmm. ultimately um, be able to be productive members of society. And so we partner with a lot of um, businesses here in Jacksonville um, to do job training for some of our, our older kids. Mm -hmm. um, examples might be like working at uh, Mama Foo's to go out and uh, do things like rolling silverware, knowing uh, when to clear um, tables and things like that that can be uh, skills that may be able to be utilized for uh, job skills later on in life. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then for events like that, do you just use your staff or do you have um, volunteers that you all wanted? Like... We primarily use the staff, but okay. we do um, we do um, take volunteers sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, we have um, some special events coming up um, that we have been doing for about 10 years. Um, two of them I'd like to highlight would be, mm -hmm. one, we have what's called the Not So Haunted Halloween. So a lot of times children with autism or other developmental disabilities have difficulty with change. Mm -hmm. And to do something like putting on a Halloween costume, we take for granted. Most children would like that and it's a lot yeah. of fun, but it can be scary for children uh, you know, with de developmental disabilities. Mm -hmm. So we provide the opportunity for those children to practice in our office. That's and so we cute. have volunteers and our staff and their spouses come in and they can trick or treat with their therapist around the office mm -hmm. the night before Halloween so that it can be a fun uh, and successful experience for them on the actual Halloween That's night. That's awesome. That's so fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then the other, the other one um, is uh, we do time with Santa. Mm -hmm. And if you've ever been to visit Santa Claus mm -hmm. in the mall, you know yeah. that it can be an overwhelming experience. Yeah, There's a lot of sights, sounds, noises going on. Mm -hmm. And um, for some of the children that we serve, that's not, doesn't, doesn't make for the best uh, experience. Mm -hmm. So we have um, a special connection with Santa. He comes every year and a parent can sign up for private time with just their family and Santa in their mm -hmm. own room that's quiet. And um, we've had some, some really successful experiences with that. Uh, the parents and the children really 
really enjoy that. And that's amazing that you all offer that. You know, yeah. most kids wouldn't get to experience it because going without those mental, you know, dis disabilities, it's hard to just be in there with Santa and all those kids that's and right. all those people. So that's amazing. Right. That's yeah. really good. And then you have any events um, coming up uh, sooner? Sorry, rather than October. Um, we do have an open house that's coming up, and I'll have to get you the date, um, mm -hmm. or we can put it on our website, which okay. is www.greatstridesrehab.com. Mm -hmm. But um, we're going through a, um, a major renovation right now. Mm -hmm. Two of the things I didn't mention before is that we have both a preschool and a school for children um, with disabilities, um, where we provide intensive education, mm -hmm. and they can receive all of the therapy services um, in a coordinated fashion. Um, but when we finish these renovations, I believe it's in September, we'll be having an open house that we're inviting all the um, parents and families in the community, physicians as well, to come mm -hmm. out and, and see what we offer. So. That's amazing. Yeah. And then just going back to your visitor just a little bit, yeah, so who would you bring with you? This is Nantucket. Hey, <laughs> Nantucket. Um, like, so Nantucket is um, a highly trained service dog. She um, works in our facility, mm -hmm. and um, she's trained to do a lot of different things. Uh, a lot of different things, but the main thing that we utilize Nantucket for is to motivate children during therapy. So mm -hmm. rather than just um, having a child do arm exercises, we might have them throw the ball for Nantucket okay. and mm -hmm. she'll go and fetch and, and, and bring it back. And it makes therapy a lot more fun. It's mm -hmm. not like work anymore. Now it's, you know, it's mm -hmm. fun. Definitely with the interaction. It's so well behaved. Yeah. So it's crazy. And I, <laughs> I heard you say she doesn't bark. And she's from, she has two years worth of training. She's mm -hmm. from Canine Companions for Independence, which is the oldest and largest service dog organization in the country. Mm -hmm. And um, they do a superior job with <laughs> these dogs. She can do um, some other things like pushing buttons. She can pick mm -hmm. up a credit card uh, and hand it back to a person. <laughs> she can turn lights on and off, um, get things out of the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And we utilize all of these skills in the therapy sessions to make it fun mm -hmm. uh, for the kids. So, you know, a lot of the kids really enjoy coming to therapy. While it's a benefit to them, mm -hmm. they also really enjoy it. That's awesome. Yeah. And um, is she the only dog you all have? Or? She is. She's, okay. she's the only one and she's, you know, very special the, the kids she's good for morale not only for the children but for the uh for the office too you know uh, the employees love to come in and and say hi to nantucket and and uh, give her a good pet so. it's like well i love that name and we have a good one so that's right need. that's right that's right <laughs> and is there anything else you want to tell the viewers of jacksonville um you know just basically um about the business the uh, the primary thing is that we we utilize an interdisciplinary approach, meaning that we have a lot of different services that can coordinate care, and we believe that that is the best and most effective way to provide effective intervention for the children that we serve. Um, and we invite anyone to come by and take a tour of our facility. We have 10,000 square feet at our main campus, and um, then we have you know other locations around as well where, we, where our therapists serve uh, in those locations. So um, our phone number is 886-3228 and like I said we're happy to give anyone a tour and um, and anybody that needs um, assistance for their child who may have a disability would lo we'd love to try to help. Well thank you so much for coming and thank you for all that you do in the community. Thank you all for tuning in. We will see you next time at the bus.